As of today, Raspberry Pi is the most popular local single board computer on the market. It is often used for Internet of Things and other embedded projects. Several GNU Linux distributions have excellent support for Raspberry Pi and there is even Microsoft Windows for Raspberry Pi too. If you want to create IoT device based on Raspberry Pi and if you want to do it professionally, it is recommended to build an embedded Linux distribution that fits the exact needs of your device. To boot a Linux distribution on Raspberry Pi, you need a bootloader, Linux kernel and various applications in the user space. One of the most popular ways for building custom embedded Linux distribution is using the Yocto project. Yocto is a collaborative project of the Linux Foundation that uses the Open Embedded Framework and Bitbake build engine. Pocky is the reference system of the Yocto project with a 6 month release cycle. It provides metadata divided into layers and receipts for building various packages and images. The processors of all models and versions of Raspberry Pi are with ARM computing architecture. Raspberry Pi 0 and 1 are with ARM version 6 and Raspberry Pi 2 is with ARM version 7 system on a chip. I'm going to build an embedded Linux distribution for Raspberry Pi on my personal computer with Ubuntu and Intel CPU. So in this case, using the internal toolchain of the Yocto project, I'll cross-compile binaries for ARM. Keep in mind that this is an advanced tutorial. Please have a look at the exact steps at the description of the video. The first step is to clone Pocky using git. There is a branch in the repository for each release of the Yocto project. In this case, I'm using version 2, also known as Jetro. After that, I'm changing the directory to Pocky and cloning BSP meta layer for Raspberry Pi. I'm using its latest version from the master branch. I have to initialize the build environment. After that, I have to edit the configuration file bblayers.conf from directory conf. I'm using my favorite command line editor Vim. If you're not comfortable with it, please feel free to use the editor that suits you best. I also need to change machine to Raspberry Pi 2 in the configuration file walkout.conf again from directory conf. Please note that if you are building an image for another version of Raspberry Pi, you should specify it here. Furthermore, I have to add another Raspberry Pi specific configuration related to the GPU. Now I'm ready to launch a build. The next step is just to execute bitbake rp basic image. This way I'll build a small image of an embedded GNU Linux distribution for Raspberry Pi 2. There will be no graphical user interface. It will just boot into command line interface. The initial build may take up to several hours depending on the hardware of the host and its internet connection. My desktop is with Intel i7 CPU and 16GB of RAM. I'm using the latest version of Ubuntu. The tutorial is almost the same for other GNU Linux desktop distributions. If you are using another operating system on your personal computer, you should launch Bitbake in a virtual machine, but it will be much slower. When the build is ready, I have to plug in a micro SD card and to copy the image from directory TMP to it. Using tools MSBLK or FDisk, I can retrieve the exact device corresponding to the micro SD card. Other tools such as BMAP2 or the old-fashioned DD are needed to binary copy the image. Be very careful while flashing the SD card and make sure you are using the right letter from the path to the device. Do it on your own risk because a mistake might damage the drive on your host. As I said, be very careful and read the instructions in the description of the video. Let's quickly assemble Raspberry Pi 2. I have to plug in the micro SD card to add a USB keyboard, HDMI monitor, an Ethernet cable to connect it to my local area network and to the internet. Ok, as expected with this image my Raspberry Pi 2 will just boot into command line interface. 
Now let's go back on my personal computer and customize the GNU Linux distribution. I will change the init system from system5 to systemd. I will also add command to the image. This is a command line network interface suitable for Internet of Things and other embedded devices. I'm watching a build again using Bitbake. It is an incremental build, so this time it will be faster. You already know the procedure. When the image is ready, I have to flash it to a micro SD card, after that to plug it into the Raspberry Pi and to boot the board. The last step is to do a basic testing to verify that the image is working properly. Make sure that systemd and command are present by checking the status of command service. After that, have a look at the available connections in command control. Verify that IP has been assigned and ping a website to verify the internet connection. As you can see, all tests passed and my image is OK. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for my channel and have a look at some of my other videos.